Hello friends and welcome back. Today we are going to be continuing learning about how multiplication works. And so to do that, we're going to learn something that's called a property, okay? And that property that we're going to learn about today is called the commutative property. And even though that sounds like a big word, commutative property, you really already know about this property, you just haven't known what its name was, okay? Let me show you what I mean. Because the commutative property works for both addition and for multiplication. So, you've seen it before with addition. So let me show you what I mean. If I tell, ask you, what's the question or the answer, I should say, for two plus one? We're like, well, it's three. What if I ask you this question? what is the answer or the sum to one plus two? Most of you are gonna be like, silly woman, it's the same, it's still three. Okay, so the commutative property is really about the fact that with addition, the order that you add these two numbers together doesn't change what the sum is, okay? now. What does that do or how does that relate to what we're talking about today? Well, the reason it relates to what we're talking about today is the same thing works for multiplication. So we are talking today, well, let me go ahead and get rid of that, about the fact that the commutative property of multiplication tells us that if we have two times three, okay, so if we have two groups of three, two groups of three, we get a product of one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay? Now, let's see if the commutative property works the other way. What's the product of three times two? So if you have three groups of two, what's the product? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six. So the commutative property of multiplication is really about the fact that when you're multiplying two numbers together, order doesn't matter, okay? You can switch them, you can flip them, and you're still going to get the same product. Now, that's extremely helpful because as you're learning your multiplication facts, if you know two times three, if you're like two times three is six, if you know two times three, guess what? You already know three times two. You just switch them. It's the same product, so you don't have to like memorize or figure out another answer. It's the same. If you know five times three, you know three times five. If you know four times two, you know two times four. So that's the reason that we're learning this right now is it really helps us to be able to do our multiplication facts that much quicker because if we know the answer to one way, we flip them, we're going to get the same answer. So we're going to go ahead and turn over to Tim and Moby for a video about this property. And then I have one more video I want you to watch just to make sure that we have it stuck in our heads before we get to the activity that you're going to work on today. Hey, Moby, what you doing? Hmm. Dear Tim and Moby, I'm trying to study the commutative property. Can you help me? From Michelle. Sure. The commutative property is a rule about how we can add and multiply things together. For example, two plates plus three plates equals five plates. Now we've got three plates plus two plates, and that also equals five. What do you mean this is baby stuff? You're the one having a tea party. Besides, I'm trying to make a point. If 3 plus 2 equals 5, and 2 plus 3 also equals 5, then 2 plus 3 must equal 3 plus 2. The order of the numbers doesn't change the sum. That's the commutative property of addition. For any numbers a and b, a plus b equals b plus a. There's a commutative property of multiplication, too. 3 times 2 equals 6 and 2 times 3 equals 6. 3 times 2 equals 2 times 3. For any numbers a and b, a times b equals b times a. 
There we go, the commutative property of multiplication. <laughs> hey, I'm stuck in this chair. <laughs> hey, can, can I have some more tea? <laughs> May I please have some more tea? Important to use good manners when you're at that tea party. All right, so we have one more video to watch. I'm going to turn the volume up a little bit for you for this one. And here we go. I think we need to flip 
makes 11 times 3. That's 11 3 times. So, 11, 22, 33. 33! 3 times 11 is also 33. Great job, Piggy. Now let's take a break for lunch. <laughs> Oh, hi, Kelly. Do you know the multiplication flip trick? No. Don't worry. I'll explain it to you. Uh-oh. <laughs> That's probably not going to end well. So there you go. All right, friends. So for today, to practice, you'll notice that here we have the flip trick in action. We have here two groups of four, and then we also have four groups of two, okay? So you can see what they look like up here in the example. And so you are going to make a copy of this in your Google Drive, and then you're going to go ahead and complete that and then submit it in Canvas. And we'll meet you back here tomorrow, friends. Bye.